The following recipe is brought to you by John C. Lincoln Hospitals, who remind you that exercise and a healthy diet are key ingredients to staying healthy for life. Now let's watch while Chef Eddie creates this healthy, delicious meal. Hey everybody, welcome to What's Cooking with Eddie. Yes, yes, this is Eddie. Uh, we're from a restaurant called Eddie's House in Scottsdale. Um, we're up at the Sub-Zero Wolf Studios. This is sort of like our home away from home. Uh, they're so nice to let us use them. And we're gonna do a little segment today on at antioxidants, cancer-fighting antioxidants. And, and we do this for John C. Lincoln because there are sort of partners in this that they, they do a lot of good things. I do good things with food, the good things that the doctors do. It's a good marriage we have there. But anyhow, one of my favorite fruits to eat, two of them are blueberries and bananas, just the perfect blueberries and bananas. That's a whole new song. You're going to get it on a CD soon, but blueberries are great for you. Bananas are great for you. They're available all year round. If you don't use fresh blueberries, you can use frozen, but I'm going to make a soup. No, no, it's not a hot soup. It's not like blueberry noodle soup. This is just a blueberry sort of soup style that we're going to have that you can eat, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, whether your throat's a little sore, whether you're a little nauseous, something like that that'll just be good, nutritious, and again, antioxidants. So, blueberries is where I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna throw a bunch of these beautiful little nuggets in here. I love the taste. Look at how big they are. They're big, they're juicy. They're just perfect right now. I like to, do you know what I like to do with them once in a while? I make my kids laugh. I take them like I'm eating peanuts, you know? Oh, there's one. Oh, uh, oh, something like that. I love playing around with the kids. Okay. A little bit of the blueberry. What are you going to use for the stock? Another antioxidant, cranberry juice. So we're going to take some cranberry juice and put that in there. And I just want to put enough sort of to blend the blueberries. You don't want to put too, too much in there. You need a little flavor, green onions or chives. You want an onion that's, that's harsh. You're going to add a little bit of salt. You always want to add a tiny bit of salt into that. A little bit, let me see, a yogurt. That's what I want to do. Now, this is a non-fat blueberry yogurt. If you want to use a vanilla bean yogurt, that's cool too. But I like blueberry, it's blueberry flavoring. We're gonna take that, put that in there. Non-fat, you want to use fat, it's, it's okay. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. I'm gonna use one of the spice mixtures that we've used before, one of my favorite. Chinese five spice. Now I have to tell you, cinnamons, cloves, gingers, just an orchestra of flavors in there that's beautiful. And it's a great sort of, it brings all of those flavors together. And you want to do that. You want to be able to add something in there to sort of have all of these flavors come together. I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit of brown sugar just to take it up just a little bit more. Let me see. Do I need anything else? Yes. I'm going to add a little bit of mint. Oh, smell that. I, I love it. And then when you tear it, it's even a little more. I love this. This is perfect. So. All of our ingredients come to that. Aha, you say. The banana's saying, hey, hey, what about me? Hey, hey, what about... I'm going to take the banana. I'm going to... You know, I always have trouble taking, sort of breaking the banana from the top, ripping it off from the top, um, because it's just so ripe and beautiful. I'm going to take a couple bananas, and I'm going to just put one more, put that on there, and that's going to add a little bit of creaminess to it. And, again, the antioxidant. Oh. Just perfect. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna hit it with a little more salt. There we go, salt goes in. Gonna take this, I always have a challenge with these machines because I'm not as smart as the average bear. So, here we, oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pulse it. When you pulse it, it sort of chops everything together a little bit and then it starts to bring it all together. There it is. And I'm trying to pulse it because a lot of the times when you pulse it, the stuff gets chopped up, it settles to the bottom, and then you're able to sort of, the, the blade is able to grab sort of on that. So we're gonna let that, listen to this. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. What's going on? I don't know. I like this, this is kind of fun. I'm having a good time today, if you couldn't tell. Okay, let me let that cook for a little bit. Um, one other thing that we wanna to top this relish with, we'll let it sit for a second, is a little bit of a, uh, this relish. I wanna take, the blueberries that I have here, let me, I'm gonna put a little mint in this one. I decided to put a little mint. Now I'm gonna show you something today. When you take the mint leaves and you fold that, put sort of set them on, to, on top of each other and you roll it right like that. You take it and you make 
a little roll of herbs. When you take and chop it and you thin, thin, thin dice it like that, it becomes a chiffonade. That is called a chiffonade. And it's, sort of, it's a French word. It means to cut very thin. And that's that you generally do that with spices. I'm going to take a little bit of chipotle. Stacy's killing me right now because she says, and you don't need heat. Yes, you do. It's going to be too sweet. So I'm going to take some heat into this. I'm going to just reach over, grab a tiny bit of olive oil, put it on there. And what else? I want to hear it. Lime juice? Yes, lime juice. A little bit of lime in there. So you lime, blueberry, chipotle. That's perfect. I'm going to take this, mix this up. Just like just a little bit of relish as a garnish and a little bit of a flavor. So let me hit this once more. That's perfect. I love the. Oh, it smells so good. If you want the recipe for this, you know what you have to do. You go to our website, eddieshouseaz.com, for all of your wonderful recipes from Eddie On Demand. I'm making a little bit of a mess, but the great thing about being up here at the Sub-Zero Wolf Studios is I don't have to clean. You know what? This is a great recipe. Again, thanks to the people at John C. Lincoln for what they do. I'm just kind of a schlep cook. Oh, that looks so good. You know what this looks like? This looks like an Eddie Lissish dish to me. I know it is. Everybody have a great day. I think even Stacy's gonna like this one. This recipe has been presented by John C. Lincoln Hospitals. As heart failure, chest pain, and cardiac arrest centers, John C. Lincoln Hospitals take heart health seriously. Find out more at jcl.com slash heart.